I'm gonna let the jack down and uh, see if anything happens. Other than those falling. Hi, right, welcome back. I think tonight we're gonna focus on the uh, interfinger tack welds. Might put a couple more spots down here and uh, tacking this in right uh, right through here on the inside. Or I mean right back, the, back through here on the inside. And if we get all that done, I'm gonna drop the jack and hopefully this thing doesn't collapse on itself. I guess we'll find that out, but uh, before we do all that, I'm gonna show you what I've done today. If you don't notice, I got two new lights. Those two are from Harbor Freight. They seem to be a little bit brighter than uh, the rest of my lights. They're the, uh, I think $31 a piece. I think they're like 5,500 lumens. And if you noticed, I moved this over here and that was over here. And I'll show you what we're doing right here. Kind of still a mess, but trying to get it where when we get the body ready, we can put it right here, but we need to move a uh, bunch of stuff, especially over here on this side, get rid of a bunch of stuff. But I'm gonna give you a little quick uh, glance around about what, what I've done today, and then we'll jump on this, tack this a little bit, drop a jack, and hopefully everything stays. And if we have enough time, I may try to do a few little stitches on this piece here, because we need to get that done as well. Anyways, let's take a look, look around, and then we'll jump on the Bronco and start welding. There's my two new lights. Those are my old ones. I just needed something to kind of brighten up this area a little bit. And they seem to do the trick pretty good. You can tell we took this cabinet away. Moved this over here as well as this. I was going to move this. This uh, shelf down and put this right here which i probably will do eventually but that's just uh where it's going for now it's not secured to the wall or anything but it has all my stuff in it too because i easier access over here than it was over there and over there we put the cabinet back up and i had a desk that i've been wanting to use for quite some time so we finally got it out and i'll move this table out of here when we get all this stuff sorted and put away. That way I can move from there to there if I want to. I don't know what I'm gonna use that for. I figure I'm just gonna put some paperwork that I need to get done or, or whatnot. This is probably gonna be moved somewhere else because the door don't open very far this way. Back underneath that shelf back there. But as you can see, we got a bunch of bunch of junk we need to take care of. But so far, I'm, I'm liking it. And all this stuff needs to have a garage sale. But I do like this area. It looks nice. Yeah, pretty excited about my new lots. I may uh, try to get some more to go across here. I don't know, but I think it looks pretty good. But today, we're going to finish tacking this in. This through here. I need to clamp it. I need to address this. Pull this down a little bit more. Hammer it over. Weld that. And weld this down here a little bit. Yeah, I think I may uh, put a couple more holes down here. Kind of give it a little bit more support. Need to go over that one again. Maybe that one too. So it looks like uh, kind of a little bit more welding. I'm going to hammer that down. Probably put a screw a couple places. And try to make that go down a little bit better.
this is what we got today. Doesn't look really good, but it seems to be stuck. Went ahead and ground, ground this down. Looks pretty good, but it's still stuck. I'm uh, having a hard time getting in here with the tire on, so I just did some screws and then I plugged those. But I think that fender isn't moving anymore. Then once this tire comes off, we'll come back in and go over these little spots here just to kind of double reinforce it. And then we just did a few tacks back here, but we got this tack pretty good. Uh, I had to come in, you know, just tack every so often and kind of fill in that gap. Uh, and then we'll come back in here and tag it to the back. I mean, it's still, it's still flush, it, it, it should work. Of course, we got these two down here. But now, I'm gonna let the jack down and uh, see if anything happens. Other than those falling, nothing seemed to move. Everything looks straight. Everything looks good. Didn't uh, collapse like I thought there was a possibility and it's a little bit of pop right there, but other than that, it's pretty, it's really strong. I'm really happy. We may come in, try to fill this in a little bit better. It's not going anywhere, but I just don't like how that looks. But yeah, I'm really happy this stayed together <sighs> excited uh, thank you for watching uh, we got that in it's I'd say 95% done we still like the uh, spot wells un under here by the tire I probably won't actually get to that until we take the tire off next time we may do a little bit dress up on these welds uh, finish down here the uh, inner rocker get that all uh, tack together, ground down, and start grinding. Well, I'm gonna grind off camera, do a bunch of grinding here in the next few days. Hopefully get all this ready to uh, prep with self-etching primer. We're gonna get this whole passenger side, all the paint off of it. I'm gonna say welding slag that pops off, get all that removed, wipe it all down. Then we're gonna spray the etching primer on all this in here, and that way it'll be good and uh, prepped. So, and then we'll spray the outside too, as soon as we get get the uh, tire off and those those done. I'm really happy, extremely happy. Kinda half expected to kinda just come down on itself, but it didn't, so that's good. If you like what you see, it's kinda what I do is just work on this. This week, I am gonna, I keep on saying it, but I am gonna try to shoot a short video on the Healy, starting it up since we can pull the Bronco out now. And starting the Camaro up, it needs to start up and run a little bit. Kind of get the motor turned over and that one won't stay that won't on idle but we can get the engine turned over so maybe it won't seize up because i hate for the healy engine to seize up we'll do that this next week let me know what you think about the garage i kind of like it like that being over there and i like having light back there in the back so if i snake skin back there not too long ago and brown recluses are everywhere so hopefully a little bit more light will keep them keep them at bay thanks again if you made this far it does really help channel a lot and uh, like I said, I post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We keep doing it until we get this back on the road, and then we'll start a new one. But uh, anyways, thanks again, and I'll see you next time.